now let us discuss here about functional dependency in dbms we know that a table is a collection of attributes if you take this table this table contains three attributes such as roll number name and quotes functional dependency the name itself specifies the meaning one or more attributes of a relation depends upon one or more attributes of the same relation here the relation and the table both are same only so one or more attributes of the table depends on one or more attributes of the same table okay uh, a functional dependency is denoted by yaru uh, uh, this is uh, we can call this as determines uh, on the left hand side let we have a on right hand side we have b uh, so we can call this as a determines b a determines b or this can also be called as or this can also be called as b dependent on a b dependent on a so here what are a and b a and b are nothing but one or more attributes uh, here uh, a is called as we can call a as determinant determinant whereas we can call b as dependent we can call b as dependent why because a determines b so that's why it is called as determinant whereas b depends upon a so that's why it is called as uh, determinant here we can say that uh, a determines b if each value of a determines exactly one value of b we can say that a determines b if each value of a determines exactly one value of b so that means if we take two tuples if we take two tuples then if t1 t1 is nothing but first tuple tuple is nothing but a row if t1 dot a a is nothing but attribute if t1 dot a is equal to t2 dot a then t1 dot b must also be equals to t2 dot b okay uh, let us take uh, uh, an example here uh, here uh, uh, let us uh, before that let, let us take an example here uh, let we have a table uh, which contains only two attributes a and b Uh, let the values of a are uh, uh, 10 20 30 whereas the values of b are 1 2 3 1 2 3 uh, if a value is 10 then we can say that b value is 1 that means a determines b if we know the value of a then we can determine the value of b also if a is 30 then we can say that the b value is 3 okay uh, let we have another row like this so 10 1 10 one uh, here if we, if we see here if t1 dot a is equal to t2 dot a let us observe these two rows here what is first tuple this is the first tuple this is the second tuple okay what is t1 dot a 10 what is t2 dot a 10 then t1 dot b should also equals to t2 dot b what is t1 dot b 1 what is t2 dot b 1 so now we can say that a functionally dependent a determines b that means b functionally dependent on a uh, let us assume that in instead of 1 uh, we have 4 here we have 4 here if we observe these two tuples what is t1 dot a 10 what is t2 dot a 10 10 double equal to 10 then t1 dot b should also equals to t2 dot b but what is t1 dot b 1 what is t2 dot b 4 1 equal to 4 so that is false so we can say that uh, a implies b a determines b this is false this is false okay b doesn't functionally dependent on a b doesn't depends upon a okay uh, now let's see this example uh, we have a table like this uh, now here our aim is uh, we have to check whether 
these four functional dependencies are correct or wrong okay uh, the first functional dependency is rule number determines name rule number determines name so if we observe any two tuples uh, yeah we need to search for all the tuples uh, let us take these two tuples why because here uh, uh, in these two tuples what is t1 dot a 72 what is t1 dot rule number 72 what is t2 dot rule number 72 then t1 dot name should also equals to t2 dot name what is t1 dot name ramesh what is t2 dot name ramesh so they are same so we can uh, if we observe the remaining rows there is no duplicacy so here when we have to search for this condition if t1 dot rule number equals to t2 dot rule number only let us assume that if we consider these two rows uh, here t1 dot rule number is 72 t2 dot rule number is 73 so 72 equal to 73 false so there is no need to check for t1 dot name and t2 dot name so let us focus on 72 74 t1 dot rule number 72 t2 dot rule number 74 these two are not equal so there is no need to check for that one so we can say that the first uh, functional dependency is correct only now let's check for the second one rule number implies course so here this is the rule number attribute this is the course attribute uh, uh, let's check for the same values okay uh, here t1 dot rule number is 72 What is T two dot rule number seventy two? Let us focus on these two tuples, these two rows. Why? Because here the rule number is same. Okay. Then T one dot course should also equals to T two dot course. But what is T one dot course? Python. What is T two dot course? Java. So Python, Java. They are not equal. They are different. So we can say that this functional dependency is wrong. Let us see the next one. A uh, course determines name. course determines name uh, now we have to consider these two tuples these two tuples these two rows why because here the course is same course is same uh, what is t1 dot course python what is t what is t2 dot course python uh, if we observe this one what is t1 dot uh, name what is t1 dot name ramesh what is t2 dot name mahesh so ramesh mahesh they are not equal so we can say that this functional dependency is also wrong so here in the left hand side we can have more attributes in the right hand side also we can have more attributes we can write according to our comfortability okay uh, here i am uh, uh, taking two attributes in the left hand side uh, rule number name uh, this is the first attribute set second one is course uh, if we consider rule number and name Rule number and name. Rule number name. Uh, let us uh, consider these uh, these two rows. Uh, why? Because in the first row, what is rule number seventy two? What is name Ramesh? If we consider the second row seventy two, what is uh, name Mahesh? But what is T one dot course Python? What is T two dot course Java? So T one dot uh, uh, course is not equals to T two dot course. so we can say that this functional dependency is wrong okay why because here the courses are different in place of java if we have python then we can say that those two are equal so this functional dependency will be correct only so this is about what is functional dependency in dbms in the next video we will see different types of functional dependency